when you click the link, it should take you to this website here where it says student placement registration form. To register a placement, please complete this form. Return to this page to check on the progress of your application. To click on here, it will have today's date on there and then your details. So your name, your surname and your student number and email will automatically already be populated. Then you click what school you're studying in. So arts and creatives, health and social care, applied sciences, business, engineering, law and social sciences, or built environment and architecture. So please click on your school and then the placement details. So what type of placement is it? With each option, it will have a blurb coming up to explain what that is. So either a sandwich year or year long placement, a summer short internship, a part time micro placement, work experience or a virtual assignment based placement. Are you currently in receipt of a tier four visa? So if you're a home student, please click no. If you are an international student in receipt of a tier four visa, please click yes. And then you've got your placement start date and end date. If you click on here, it'll bring up the calendar. Placement duration in days. So for this is for the entire duration of your placement. How many working days in total are you working? Um, working hours per week. So how many hours are you expected to work each week? And your job title whilst on placement. So for example, accounts assistant or trainee software developer. Please put that in here. Job description. So we do require your job description to make sure it's in line with your degree. So you can either copy and paste it here or you can upload a job description here. Then we have the placement organization details. So name of organization. And here, in order for us to validate that this is a legitimate company, please choose one of the following. Either provide a company registration number indicating that the company is registered with Companies House, or you can provide a link to the company's website. The application will only be approved if it's with a registered company within the UK. Where will, you, where will your placement take place? Uh, at the organisation, remotely or a combination of the above. And in here, you put in the organisation's address. So address, city, town, country, region and postcode. And details of your placement supervisor at the organisation. So what is their first name? What is their surname? Your employer's supervisor's email address. Please re-enter it because we need this to be accurate as they will be sent an email and any additional details or comments. So payment and right to work. So is it a paid position? Yes or no. If it is a paid position, please put in how much you'll be paid. If it's hour, daily, weekly or monthly. If it's not paid, please click no. Do you have the right to work Sorry, uh, if the placement requires a DBS, do you have a valid one? If yes, click here and then upload your DBS. If the placement doesn't require one, please click here. Do you have the right to work in the country that your placement is in? Uh, yes, it's my home country. Yes, I have right to work documentation. And it's really important that you need to upload your right to work document. If you don't have it to hand, please click save draft at the bottom of this form and return to it later when you can upload the document. Will you be working full time? 30 to 40 hours per week is full time. Less than 30 hours is part time. So yes, it's full time or no, it's part time. Here, can you put in your details of your course director, lecturer? So please click on this list and all of these names should come up. However, if your lecturer or course director is not on this list, click the bottom one and then you can enter their email address here. If they are on the list, please click on their name and their email should automatically populate. And then some questions about your welfare and well-being. 
So do you can do you have any concerns about your mental well being at the moment relating to this placement? Yes or no? Do you have any concerns about your physical well being at the moment or relating to this placement? Yes or no? And do you have any concerns about health and safety in this workplace? Yes or no? And if you have any reasonable adjustment requirements, uh, please put that in this box here. And then finally, um, please uh, check this box that you've read the roles and responsibilities for students whilst on placement. Uh, the link to that is here. So if you click on that, it will bring it up here. And then once you've read it, please check this box. And then here you can submit at the bottom um, just to remind you again, if you don't have all the details or evidence at hand, please save it as a draft and you can come back to this form later.